Hi, this is Teacher Chris. Welcome to Mat Mat Dali. In this video, we're going to talk about remainder theorem, example number 2, level 2. So, if we have here 4x cubed minus 8x squared plus 9x minus 5 divided by 2x minus 3, first, we equate 2x minus 3 into 0. Next, we simply add both sides, negative 3. A negative 3. Positive 3. Or simply transposing 3 to the other side. And then afterwards, we divide both sides by 2 so that we can isolate x. So we have here x as 3 over 2. When we say evaluating, it's simply substituting the value of x to the given value or from the given polynomial, we substitute that one. So we have here 4 times 3 over 2 cubed minus 8 3 over 2 square plus 9 times 3 over 2 minus 5. For 3 over 2 cubed means 3 over 2 multiplied by 3 over 2 multiplied by 3 over 2. Then that will get 27 over 8 minus 8 times 3 over 2 square. 3 over 2 square means 3 over 2 times 3 over 2. So we have here 9 over 4 plus 9, 3 over 2 minus 5. Remember, whenever we are multiplying a fraction to a whole number we can just simply add one as the denominator so that it will be easier for us to to multiply fractions to fraction and then if we can do some cancellation of or if they have common factor like four and eight they are both divisible by four we can use that one one times 27 it's 27 over two and then we can also use it here. We have here 1 and 2. 8 times 2 is, 8, 2 times 9 is 18. And then we have 9 times 3, 27 over 2, minus 5. 27 over 2 plus 27 over 2, we get 54 over 2. Minus 18 minus 5. 54 over 2 is 27 minus 18. Sorry. Minus 5. And 27 minus 18 minus 5 is 9 minus 5. 27 minus 18 is 9 minus 5 is 4. Therefore, the remainder when we divide 4x cubed minus 8x squared plus 9x minus 5 by 2x minus 3 is 4. Again, when we say remainder, we simply evaluate the divisor and then use that value to substitute in the given polynomial. And then afterwards, we just need to calculate. And that's all for this video. Thank you.